Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be doing a quick showcase for the brand new Int LR Rose Goku Black to help you guys, my fellow global players, decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones to try and pull him once his banner eventually comes out in about two days from now. Now, as far as if people should be summoning... I definitely have some very strong opinions about that, which I've expressed in previous videos. And honestly, I think that most people, especially the free-to-play players, should seriously consider just straight up skipping this banner altogether. You know, just not summoning at all. And that's not to say that the Rose and Broly are bad units, because they're really not. In fact, they're both amazing units, and you'll see just how good this Rose is in a second. But the main issue is that at the end of August, so in about a month from now, we have a download celebration coming. And the value for your stones during that celebration is just going to be much, much higher compared to the Rose and Broly banner. So I think the smart thing to do is definitely to skip this banner and save as many stones as possible for the download celebration. But of course, that's just my advice. The ultimate decision is up to you. It is your stones after all. So that's why we're doing this showcase and without further ado let's jump right into it and see what this rose can do okay so on this first rotation we have rose linked up with one of his best linking partners the fizz easy a goku black we also got the support from the int mai and i think i can actually give him a full 24 key super here yes we can okay so 24 key right there gives him all the attack on his passive you know what, let me just quickly read the passive to you guys. For anybody that's not aware, he gets attack and defense plus 66% plus an additional attack plus 6% each time his key rises by 1 up to 120%. So basically, he gets that full 120% attack boost when you're at 20 key. So since he has 24 key right now, he gets all of that. And he also gets key plus 2 with each final blow delivered up to 6 and then recovers 6% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. Okay, so there's the passive. We have the full 24 key super. We have the Int Mai. He has 86,000 defense, which is not bad. It's just not like super impressive. It's actually quite average in my opinion. So defensively, he does leave, I think, a little bit to be desired. I mean, his offense is insane. Believe me, there you go, 6.47 mil for the first attack, man. That's crazy, that's crazy. So, about 6.5 million on the first super. Obviously, the damage output wasn't, you know, that impressive because we have type disadvantage, but attack up to 6.5 million on the first turn, that's wild, man. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it was clear, I don't know if it was obvious, but Rose hits really hard, guys. He does a lot of damage. Definitely one of the hardest hitting units in the game still. Um, I'm not sure like where he actually ranks on that you know top 10 list because I haven't really seen an updated one in a while. But I would imagine he's still somewhere in the top 10. Like I don't think he hits as hard overall as like the Blue Fusions or you know SSB KK and SS SSBE or some of the other new units. Maybe Jiren still hits harder, but. As far as like damage output, there's not a lot of units in this game that hit harder than this Rose. But as I was saying before we saw that damage and before it got sidetracked, um, Rose's defense is definitely, in my opinion, a bit of an issue. Okay, it's not a huge issue, but it's definitely an issue. And the reason I say that is because, as you can see, man, he doesn't get a ton of defense, right? He only has 69,000. Nice. 804 defense right now and if we get supered here it's going to do a lot of damage and then when you get later into the stage or later into the event against like super saiyan blue goku or ui goku mui goku this dude is going to get punished really really hard okay let's see if we get supered here okay so we don't we're taking 12k already right so that's not a good sign all right if we're getting if we're taking 12k um versus the super saiyan 2 goku then, wait, is this Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 2? I think it was actually the Super Saiyan 1 Goku, right? Hold on. Yeah, no, it was the Super Saiyan 1 Goku. So yeah, we took 12k from a normal against the Super Saiyan 1 Goku. 
So definitely not a good sign. Um, as much as he gives us offensively, he does take a little bit away defensively. I'm not I'm not saying he's like a terrible, you know, defender. He's just not a great defender. Now, if he supers first, he does raise, he greatly raises uh, defense on his 12 key and 18 key supers. So if you get him to super attack first and then take some attacks, he's actually like a decent defender. You know, he's not like too bad. But if you don't super first and have him in the first slot, and there's a bunch of attacks in front, then that's when things get a little bit scary. That's when things get a little bit dangerous. So if you guys manage to pull him, um, I would definitely recommend to try to keep him in the second slot, right? So like right here in the second slot so that he can always super first before taking hits as opposed to, you know, getting supered before he has a chance to, you know, increase his defense. So here we go. Another full 24 key super right there. Um, and I don't think he's delivered a final blow yet. So I'm not sure if we have the extra key, but either way, it doesn't really matter right now. And yeah, like I said, this guy does a little bit of everything. You guys saw the passive. He uh, gets a ton of attack. He is also able to increase his own key. So he's, just, he's quite self-sufficient for key, in the long term at least. And uh, he also <laughs> he does a lot of damage, man. Holy crap. And he also can heal you too. So after he takes a hit at the end of that turn, he'll heal up for 6% HP. So I guess even though he gets hit pretty hard on harder events, he also will still help you you know stay alive a bit with the six percent healing so that does help but i just wish he was overall just a better defender you know just a better tank like not much better because obviously you got to balance the damage a bit but um maybe just allow him to be able to get up to like 150k defense or something like that would be awesome you know is that too much i don't know like i, I know what they were trying to do right they were like yo this dude is doing so much damage we can't really give him that much defense, but I was still hoping he'd be a little bit better defensively. I mean, I, I know, I know. Right now, we haven't seen him like get punished too hard yet, but it's very early in the events, right? You will see. Trust me, you will see. Once we get to Super Saiyan Blue, once we get to UI, once we get to MUI, if we get there in this uh, in this run, it's it's gonna be a bad time. Okay, so there's a lot of key for him for him again. Once again, 86,625 defense. Um, we are going to get to super first. You know what? Actually, I was going to say we get to super first and then take hits, but we're not going to take any hits anyways because this is definitely going to kill Goku. Yeah, 6.47 mil here. I would be shocked if Goku's still alive here. He can't be. There's no way. There's no way. There we go. He's dead. Yeah, great damage, man. Godly damage, I would say. Godly damage. Unintended, maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Okay, so I know this rotation is kind of whack, but I'm just going to keep the trunks together like that because I want to have the supports coming back for the Rose and Goku Black rotation. So uh, yeah, don't worry about this one being kind of messed up because obviously we're not here to showcase the trunks. We know the trunks are good. Like Tech Trunks is definitely still one of my favorite units in the game just because of how amazing he is, like both defensively, like offensively, he could be better, you know, until you until you pop his active skill, he doesn't do that much damage. But he does good damage, and then his defense is just off the charts, you know. So yeah. Uh really like the trunks. I don't know why we went off on a tangent on him. Anyways, going back to the rose. Um overall, I would say, you know, a short description of him would be You know, not glass cannon. I don't think that's the right term, because he's better than better defensively than a glass cannon would be but um wh what's a material that's like stronger than glass but weaker than i don't know like st stone or whatever i don't know <laughs> let me think for a second okay, let's let uh let's let vegeta super first and while i think about this analogy let's see what we can do here letting Vegeta super first to give us that additional boost but uh yeah he's not quite a glass cannon he's like a wood cannon maybe <laughs> you know like just crazy crazy damage output yo yeah crazy for sure 8.38 million on this super <laughs> holy crap man <laughs> man 
as much as I complain about his defense, right? Like, he he really makes up for it a lot. Okay, let's be real. He makes up for it a ton just with his outrageous damage output, man. It's not even funny how hard this guy hits. Um, man, should I pop an item? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just pop. Wait, can we can we actually use this? Oh, we can't. God, I for, forgot about that. Okay, so I don't know. Should I use something? Because like I'm really scared that we're gonna get supered here, and Mai's just gonna straight up die. No, we're gonna risk it. Screw it. We're gonna risk it. We got to save that token attack too, which is awesome. So I can save that for uh, the Rosé next turn, obviously. And actually, if we manage to fall below 66% HP, but not die, then we'll be able to use the active skill for the Rosé. Because for his active skill, you gotta wait until you're past the 6th turn, or the 6th turn or, be or beyond, and below 66% HP to use it. Okay, this is not a good sign. Okay. He didn't super us yet, and I feel like a super is coming. Not there though. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay, so guys, let's watch this active skill animation together. It is, in my opinion, one of the best animations in the game. Here we go. So sick, man. Pulls the scythe out of his hand, and then slashes the crap out of the screen. There it is. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. So there's his transformation, or his rage mode, I guess. And in this mode, you become immortal. And uh, actually, let me let me take a look at the passive here. Okay. So in this mode, you're immortal. He also receives an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained, and also gets attacks effective against all types. So the attack stat is not going to be as high as before, but of course, he gets effective against all, so his damage is still going to be very, very good. So that should give us another 18 key. There we go. And uh, yeah, we take no damage. Now, as you can see, if we weren't immortal, we would have been screwed because he takes a ton of damage there. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we can't take damage, so it's okay. But look at that, man. 86,000. This is going to do like 500,000 or something like that. Let's see. It's going to be crazy. At 321. Yeah, we would have been dead. We would have been super dead. So, you know, thank God he's actually not able to... To be hurt. <laughs> Alright, so this rage mode only lasts for one turn, which is unfortunate, but obviously if it was more than one turn, I guess it would have been too, too OP. Maybe that's the, 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 the thinking behind it, so I get it. You know, I get it. And uh, let's... Hmm, I guess it doesn't really matter who we put in front of here. No, actually, I'm going to put Vegeta just for the extra tanking. Oh, you know what, though? We can't get Vegeta to super here, can we? Oh, you know what? Why don't I just, uh, yeah, why don't I let Vegeta and Trunk super first? So that we can get the double boost. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, we have the token attack. I messed up this turn, man. I messed up this turn. Uh, so if I do this, then Vegeta is not supering. And then we can get the full 24 key super with the token attack from the rosé and then trunks is not super either i guess but it's okay it's all good it worked out yo i smacked the table i don't know if you guys heard that don't worry it's okay we're all good let's focus on the rosé let's focus on the rosé okay let me get this token attack perfect here don't go too fast one two yes three four five six got it yo, it's like the game knew we were doing a showcase and uh, I don't want to embarrass myself. So they're like, you know what? We're going to make it extra slow for you, man. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. So this is going to be the final attack of the showcase, guys. I think that's everything you really need to see for this LR Rosé. He hits stupid hard. Defensively, not the greatest. But, um, you know, it's not not that bad. You know what? Actually, before we go, I, I want I want to show you guys actually like what I mean by like... He, he gets punished defensively, okay? So we're just gonna straight up like go slasher here, right? And then we're gonna get a few attacks off. Doesn't really matter. And uh, next turn, when we have those attacks back again, I'm gonna put Rose in front of those attacks and you'll see exactly what I mean, okay? But uh, yeah, while this is happening, let me just do a quick sign off or 
at least get ready to go because this is pretty much the end of the showcase guys thank you so much for watching let me know actually in the comments down below if um watching this video helped you decide what to do when the banner when the rosé banner drops the rosé and broly banner drops because um i know some people were a little bit on the fence a lot of people did tell me they were skipping but not everybody so yeah hopefully you know if you guys were on the fence you weren't too sure about what to do then this video helped you make that decision and uh what is the decision you know like are you gonna be summoning are you gonna be skipping or are you planning to you know still wait a bit see how you feel oh my god it's gonna be so bad oh oh my god seven what was it 70k for the normal with the double support man with both support units giving defense too now, as you can see, as I said, once he supers, his defense becomes much better. So if you are gonna be using him, you know, definitely make sure he supers first before you put him in front of attacks, because we almost died there. But anyways, okay, that's gonna be the showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. I was hoping we would not die before I left. But there we go, we're dead. That's okay though, we, we came here to showcase the rosé. We did that, that's all that matters. And uh, if it's your, oh, if you're new here, if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.